the five night runs in Yorkshire were the hardest. Everyone used to talk about it. All the acts, <laughs> because because sometimes they didn't even have an address. They, it's the third alleyway on the left. Oh my think, god! Oh for God's sake! I mean, honestly, it was. There'd be fights. You know, <laughs> oh, it's just like. But this you one. Just have, well, this is happening. You're just doing love on the rocks or whatever. Up or the... you start playing either Tiger or something to yeah. try and get a bit of humour <laughs> in the room. But but it was literally like you'd be singing half the rooms dancing. And half the room's fighting. You think, what the hell's going on here? Um, so um, so I was, d- was doing a lot of these gigs now where I'm now starting to sing more than I'd be playing. Yeah. So I'd be doing like, um, you know, a bit of Phantom of the Opera, a bit of you know, bit, bit of the sort of musical stuff to show your voice off. And then in the second act, you'd be doing all your dance stuff, Final Countdown and uh, Love is in the Air, you know, all... You to me are everything. Yeah. Oh, it's the crowd pleasers, you know. Yeah. yeah. So where did the? Because that we we're not going to talk a lot about take that. But where did the? Did you just find out about the audition uh, through the paper or your mum or? I got about fifty envelopes and I just filled them with cassettes, photographs. Got in the yellow pages, and just searched for management companies and agencies, and just reached further than these social clubs. Yeah. And on that list was Nigel Martin-Smith. I got a call from Nigel's office, come in and meet Nigel. And there was no audition. Um, he, he sat down and he went, I'm thinking of putting a band together. And I was just like, no, I'm not lugging drums up bloody staircases, amps. And, and he said, oh, no, it's not that kind of band. And he pressed play on the VHS player and it was hanging tough, new kids on the block. He said, yeah. I want to make that. I was like, oh, singers, right, okay. Were you harmonies. in to start, like, were you, you, did you, did you buy into that or did you take some... Commitment? Well, I thought, oh, harmonies, I, I like that, like the Jackson 5. Yeah. He was like, yeah, yeah. I said, okay, right. Anyone else? And he showed me a picture of Howard. He was a model on his books at the time. He said, this guy is um, a really good singer and he's a model as well and he only lives around the corner. So he said, I'm thinking of him. And, he said, and then he got another cassette out and he played, he said, and this guy is already getting fan mail. He's on this TV show called The Hitman and Her. His name's Jason. And on came Jay in his red shorts doing all his moves <laughs> and stuff. I thought, oh, wow, this is great. And he said, and then one more, he said, he might be a bit young, this guy, but he said, I've got this guy who's on the child acting books. His name's Mark. And it was a little picture of Mark. And, uh, you know, he he just looked like a pop star yeah, <laughs> straight yeah, away. Yeah. So I was like, great, great. And that was it. That was the band. From that first meeting, that's the, they're, they're the people I'm looking at. Where'd the Maverick come from? That was about two weeks later. That <laughs> was. About two weeks later. 